So uh, for our Wednesday webinar, today you're going to see how to plan step-by-step -step the creative wardrobe with an oak insert, how you see it here. Yeah, we will go step-by-step -step through it. Yeah, also how to make the insert, how to make the cutout here. And when you have any questions, just let me know. I will always keep an eye on the chat. Yeah. Here you can also draw this project with open front. Yeah. Or also with visible fronts. Yeah. You can also choose how do you want to present to your customer. Yeah, here you have also the glass view where you see the hinges or here the Cabineo connectors. So that are the edge bendings. Blue means it's two mil and green is one mil. So you can pick your favorite. And here you see also the measurements and so on. All right. I will minimize it a bit. And here we start a new project. Yeah. So first of all, you would type in here also the measurements for the room. Yeah, you just click on the arrow and you type in a new height of the room. Yeah, here also the height of the cabinet. It should be 2,520. And the width is 1,690. And the next step will be that we go to the division tab and we want to have here usually we start with the verticals but in this case we need to have here the horizontals yeah we need to have two horizontals type in two here you can also choose a connector yeah and we drag and drop here the two horizontals yeah you see they are related in relation one-to-one -to, -one to each other. And the middle part should be 1,300. So you just click here on a arrow for the dimension, height of area, and type in 1,300. Confirm it with enter. And the bottom part should be 450. Yeah, you see the top and uh, bottom part, they are related in relation one to one to each other, but here the bottom part should be 450, just confirming with enter, and the top one is adapted by itself. So once this is done, we can go to the verticals. Yeah, we want to have for every area two verticals. So that's why you type in two and you just drag and drop the two verticals in the top, bottom, and also in the middle part. Yeah, so top and bottom, that is right, that they are related one to one to each other. But here's the middle part. Yeah we need to have 1050 because that is the space what we need for the oak insert. Yeah, so you just click here on a measurement, type in 1050 and confirm it with enter. So now we are done with the divisions. Yeah, I think so far it's pretty easy and there are no questions if yes just let me know in the comments yeah so 
we can go further. Um, also, we want to have the right setting for the back. Yeah, therefore, we can go and step behind to cabinet tab. And here on a groove, you can choose depths of division two. Yeah, and later on, we don't want to have uh, the back in the middle. Yeah, therefore, you click here on a green smart click. And here you go in the settings. And here you click remove back and type in number one. It means remove back. And after you have saved it, you see it's removed. Yeah, because we don't need it later on, so oak insert will be here. All right. Then we can go, the division is done. We go to the interior tab. And here we want to have for the top part two shelves. Yeah, and you just drag it and drop it. Yeah, here you can also choose do you want to have row or folds? Row of folds passing through the whole board or group of folds. Yeah, you can change it here and type in how many holes per you want to have per group. Yeah, then you see here when we change the view, you see here also the drillings. Yeah. When you type in here like five, then you get five. Yeah, so re relation should be one to one to each other. And we want to have also an offset here of 10 mil. Yeah, therefore you go in this top left area, you need to be careful because here you have three smart clicks. Yeah, that is here for the whole area, for the top area. And we want to have this for the top left area. You click in here. Yeah, and you can choose this offset interior, type in 10 and confirm it with enter. Yeah, then it's also here. So you can also copy this part. Yeah, click here again, go here to copy, and here you can paste it. Yeah, here as well. Then that is fine. Yeah, here on the bottom, we just want to have one shelf. Yeah. And here, you can click here again. You can also go here in the setting. And here you can make an offset interior like 10. That is the other opportunity. Yeah, then here you get an offset of 10. And you can here also copy this and paste it. So for the middle part, we want to have four. Yeah, here's the same. You can click here, offset interior 10, confirm it with enter. And here you can also delete it. Yeah, or here you can copy it. And we want to copy it and paste it in this area here. Yeah, and then we are also done with the interior. And now we are going further to the front. Now for the front, you Click here on the front tab, and we want to have here a, a left door. You just drag it and drop it here in the area. And for the right part, 
we want to have a right door. Now you click on the drop down menu, choose right door, and you drag it and drop it in here. Yeah. And here you can let this appear as a handle. So now you might be wondering why I just put it the doors here on the bottom and not here on the top. And that's because we want to have one door. Yeah. So the door is adjusting to the area. In this case, we need to extend it. Yeah. And we need to know how much millimeter we need to extend it. And therefore, we need to measure this edge yeah, to the top edge. Yeah, because here it should go here to this point. Yeah. And therefore, to measure it, you keep the control button pressed. Yeah. And when you go here in the corner, you see the point, the red flag the red box, you just click it, then it turned to green. Yeah, you can zoom out and pan down. And here, the same game, you keep the control button pressed and go with the mouse in the corner and click it again. Then you see here, the X and the Y is zero, yeah, because it's the same line. And the Z, the height is the difference is 1952.5. Yeah, this is the extension. Yeah, I noted it. Yeah, you can also uh, note it down or just remind on it. Yeah, 1952.5. Yeah, you click here, OK. And now you just click here on a smart click for the front. Yeah, and here you see overlap at top. Yeah, you click on here, and here you just type in 1952.5 and confirm it with enter. Yeah, then you see the door is getting extended exactly to this point where we want to have it here. Yeah, you see here, just the space between the fronts is three mil, how it should be. Yeah, when you click here also on a red smart click and here in the setting, you see here, when you want to change the space below, top, left, right, you can do it here. But for this project, the default is three millimeters, so that is fine. So, we need to do the same here with the right part. Yeah, it doesn't matter do you choose this smart like this or this. Um, this is just when we add another front part. Yeah, you can choose should it be above or below it. So I choose here the middle one. And you click here overlap at top. And you type in again 1952.5. Confirm it with enter, and that's fine. Yeah. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to make the right cutout. We need to have the right dimension here that we see later on the oak insert. Yeah, because we don't want to have this, we need to cut it out. Yeah, and therefore we need to have the measurements. So here for the top, yeah, we need to make a mark like here. And therefore you can measure here. Yeah, you keep the control button pressed, click it, set the screen. And here the same. Yeah, then you see here it's on the top 649.5. Yeah, I note it down so that we can remind it later. That is for the top. And for the bottom, 
we measure the same here at this point to this point keeps the control button pressed you see here that is the right point you can zoom in and click it and you see here the difference is 481.5 for the bottom that is also okay and now we need to have the difference in here and therefore i recommend to have the wire frame because then it's better to measure it yeah therefore you click on the red eye and you choose here the wireframe. Yeah, here in the wireframe, you see also all the connectors and here the hinges. So, and what we need now is here this point. Yeah, this is the edge of the door. Press and click it, that is turned to green, then it's saved. So, and now we need to have this edge here. Yeah, also keep, keep the control button pressed and click on here. Yeah, and now you see we just need uh, the dx uh, value, and this is. Um, 244.8333, yeah. I recommend to note this down. And we need here to add three mil, yeah, because now uh, we just shorten it to this edge, but we wanna have here space three mil, we need to add it, yeah. If you wanna have four or two, you need to add two or four to the 244. Point eight three three, yeah. All these three measurements that's important for the next step. Therefore, we go back to the rendered view. Yeah, and the next step is we double click the left front. We double click it, and then the two D editor is opening. Yeah, here it's also important for orientation. Uh, here the hinges are on the bottom, and here you see it's extended from left to right. Yeah, so the left side is a bottom side, and the right side is a top side. Yeah, and here the hinges are on the bottom, so that would be the left side. Yeah. And this is the right side. So it would be like this here in a project, yeah, when we look on front of it. But here you see for orientation, the hinges are on the bottom and the extension is going from left to right. Yeah. You click here on the editor, and here we make the export to the 2D CAD. Yeah, it's opening now. And you see it's opened uh, like this. And now we need to have the three measurements and we need to have here the lines, yeah, the line tool. Click on the line tool. And here you can have parallels with distance. Yeah, we wanna have this. So, and we start with a bottom. Yeah, we measured 481.5, 481.5, and we want to have here one line from the bottom. Yeah, you see here, when you go near the bottom line, yeah, you need to be inside, then you get the line on 481.5. You click it and then it's there. Yeah, for the top, we measured 649.5. Yeah, you type in here 
49.5 and this is here at the top. Yeah, here you need to be careful that you are inside, otherwise it goes the other direction. Yeah, like you see, you click it and it's marked. Yeah. So and the last one is here the 244.833. Yeah, and we need to keep in mind that we add here the three mil for the space. Yeah, so I delete this and type in 247.833. Yeah, and you remember, like I showed you, the hinges are here on the bottom and that's why we need to make we need to have this measurement here from the top in this case yeah we click it and now this is done you click here now to back and we need to have here the modification tools yeah you click on here and we need to break out segments yeah, you click on this and then we can break out the segment like this, 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 yeah. So, and then we go back and we need to be, keep in mind that we want to have here a polyline. Yeah, that's why we need to go to polyline tool and here create a form yeah, create from segments yeah we made from all the segments uh, a polyline you click now here on save and then you can close it and now you click here import 3d dxf and here we click on yeah it means yes so, and you see here's a cutout and you close it and you see it's well done. So we can also measure it. Yeah, do we have here three mil? Just keep the control button pressed. And you see here the X is 3.000003, so it's in the tolerance, yeah. So here as well, we want to measure this. So it's also in the tolerance and here the Z, it's the height is 1.5, and it is the same like uh, here, yeah. So that is fine. So here it also looks good. And here we can also measure it. Here we have also the 2.99998, so it is also fine. All right, so we wanna do the same here for the right door. So we double click it here again. And you see now the hinges, because it is the right door, the hinges are now on the top, yeah? So that is important to consider. So now we do it the same game again, going to editor and here we open the cat program. So keep in mind the hinges are on top. We click now here on line tools and here on parallel with distance. Yeah, and we just keep the 200 47.833 and we have it here on the bottom in this case 
And here we type in the distance. For the left side is 481.5. And for the top it's 649.5. So going back here and here, clicking to the modification tools and here breakout segments. Yeah, breakout this, 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 and this. And now we have here the segments. We go back and click here to polyline tools and click here create from segments and we click here this left side because it is here the, the main yeah the main side and after we saved it you can close this window and click here import 3d dxf we confirm it here adjust shape to size of part we click here on yes it's yeah and after you close it, you see it's well done. Yeah, it looks really good. Good job we made. Great. Now for the first cabinet. And we are done with it now. Yeah, we can here also open the fronts. So, and we also already deleted here the back. And what we want to have now, we want to have the oak insert. Yeah. The measurements of the insert is here also 1050 in the width and 1300 in the height. So you click here on the cabinet tab, yeah, type in here width 1050, height 1300. So the depth is should be 550 and the steps here, um, we need to change to 400. Yeah, it should be 400. So, and we need to add this insert. And we want to have here also the distance left and the distance from the bottom to the bottom. Yeah. And we need to measure it here. Yeah. That is actually this point here yeah just keep the control button pressed and go on here and here you see z is 566 that's the height and x is 320. yeah i noted this you can also note it down or keep it in mind yeah, you click here on cabinet, distance left is 320, distance bottom is 566. So, and what we need to do now is to drag this cabinet on the wall here where we want to have it. Yeah, in this case, a middle wall, yeah. So when you want to have it here on the right wall, on the left wall, you will need to be careful that your mouse arrow is here on the wall. Yeah, then you see it's getting the position. Yeah, we close this, uh, delete this. Yeah, and when you want to have it here, yeah, it's really important that you are with the mouse here on the wall. Otherwise, it's not a good position. Yeah. So we need to remove here the, the plinth, the plinth legs. Yeah. So you click here on no plinth 
and remove the thick for plinth legs and trim. It's also important that you take care that the red one is the activated cabinet. Yeah, because here uh, the first cabinet we want to have here uh, plinth. So, and yeah, it should be oak. And here we don't want to have here the row of holes. Yeah, that's why you go here to mark here the insert. Yeah, you can also call it here um, oak insert. Here and call it. Here, name of cabinet, oak insert. And close it, yeah. Then you know, you see here, okay, that is an oak insert, yeah. Uh, it's better for orientation. And here, this cabinet, you go to interior, just the shelves, group of folds. And you see here, they are disappeared. So, and we want to have the oak material. That's why you click here on material. You can choose your oak. So, and you can uh, make a thick on all parts of the group. It means that the side, the sides uh, are with one drag and drop action, get the right material. Yeah, here you can also rotate it. Here you can also change the construction. Now you just click here on the smart leg, and here you can choose it to mitra. Yeah, you see here it's now mitra. Yeah, here for the left. side as well and for the bottom right corner here as well yeah just clicking here on the smart click it doesn't matter click you uh, here here or here yeah you just click one of the three and then it's well done yeah you can here take off the smart clicks and the measurements and you see here also it's now on mitra and here is the back. Yeah, and now we are pretty much done in a half an hour. An individual wardrobe with cutouts, oak insert. Yeah, you can here click and draw it with open fronts. Yeah, or with visible fronts. Yeah, you can here choose different views as well. All right, that is it for today. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I yeah, wish you lots of fun to yeah, to create it yourself, yeah. And I'm looking forward to next Wednesday. So take care and bye-bye.